Hello, everyone. Hi. It's a Talos movie, Ninja. And I'm also here. <laughs> good, good. So I haven't really been showing off the uh, image of the actual game changes as you go through the level, but uh, we've got New Game Plus. We've also got this thing that's been annoying us for the past it was, while. Oh, the LC 50 level. years ago yeah. that I paid a visit to that fortress outside Tabriz. The only place on Earth where the plants that make our tattoo ink will bloom. We had struck a deal with some bandits. We would watch over their exports <clears throat> to the east. Xbox. And in return, they would Back guard our plants. Oh, but in yeah. time, they learned of the true value of the plants. And like vermin, they turned on us. The clan sent me there to straighten them out. That's an interesting opening. Yeah, i got to say, the, uh, the DLC is quite a bit of fun, but I don't feel that it really adds a whole lot to the actual game itself. This is a lot of fun, however. I never a sword. It was the uh, path of the... Uh, whatever it's so wisdom. Oh yeah, that one. Uh, is a kind of in between uh, the path of the silence and the... Uh, and, uh, I guess the, uh, the teleportation path is in. You can just instantly knock out just any guy whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But you don't get any points for it, and since they're knocked out, if another guard sees them, they'll be revitalized. Does that trigger a lot? Uh, no, they'll just uh, be a bit uh, aggravated when they wake up, but otherwise, no, they're just a bit unconscious. But you're asleep again. Oh, for God's sake, man. <laughs> Stop sleeping on the job. I don't care what TV shows you were watching last night. <laughs> Wait, it was Doctor Who? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> That's not until Saturday. <laughs> uh, I just haven't watched it for a while. <sighs> uh, I, never, I still do enjoy you just throwing people off shit. We're going to be getting a lot of that this video because we need to throw a lot of people off shit in order to get points. Yay. So, if it doesn't make a difference if the enemies are there or not, why are the enemies there? <laughs> I don't know. Just to... Uh... But we also get some uh, new DLC exclusive items, the Dust Moths, which uh, are fairly useful, but they're basically there to cover up lights without you breaking them. Oh, okay. so they don't emit the shatter noise? No. Huh. Okay. But, you know, doing the shatter noise also makes it so that you also get some point bonuses, and these don't. I, f I, I probably should actually have practice before I uh, start recording this, but um, I do believe they also um, uh, cover up spotlights as well. Oh, who wants oh to okay. Oh, that's kind of handy then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they also stun enemies, too. Huh. Ah, hundreds of moths! <laughs> it's better, really. better than the alternative. There we go, I see you. Here's a yeah. question. I notice you're still getting seals. Yep. And you're still getting seals that are stuff in the normal game. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, after, if, if, by 100%ing all the uh, levels in the main game, you get just enough honor in order to buy all the upgrades. By completing the DLC level, you get 9 extra honor that you can't spend on anything. <laughs> Great. Well, but it's always nice to have something extra to aim for, though, I guess. Yeah, just in case you don't you're having a bit of trouble getting some certain things or whatever, you know, this is just a bit extra just so you can buy all the upgrades. It's not all that hugely useful. Also traps. <laughs> that that man really uh, looks like he should be dead. Yeah. It's, oh, well. Why is he not dead? <laughs> he's unconscious. I, but uh, he's he's impaled. to a thing and impaled. Yes. I guess he's just really, really hardy. <laughs> well, he is really, really high, so... <laughs> well, that's what these uh, debris men are from 50 years ago. They're, uh, they're stout, shall we say. Mm, definitely. Is there a challenge room in this DLC? Uh, no. Oh. Bit of a shame, but... <laughs> Over there you go. <laughs> no, no, I was press. I was pressing the. Key. 
the directional key uh, throwing. Ha. I do, however, like the thing. You do actually leap quite a ways in order to take enemies out. You'll literally just run across like half the map and just go, huh, uh, knee him in the balls. <laughs> the tunnels were shrouded in lantern smoke and shadow. Stand still too long. And you would feel the scorpions picking at your toes. So, so given that this is... Level. <laughs> given that this is the part that's, like, meant to be from the main game as well, is any of the map, like, similar to...? Uh, no, this is a completely different part of uh, Breeze. This is from 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, just, no, I just thought that bit had up the corridor there with the wires looks a little bit similar to... Yeah. ...the bit from uh, the main game. I was gonna Possibly. say, too, I was having now trouble... The, now, now they actually mention it, I... I have no idea. <laughs> I was gonna say too, I was having trouble understanding like, oh well, if it's so easy to just kill everyone, then what challenges are gonna be in this? Oh right, traps. <laughs> oh yeah, there's plenty of those, because mm -hmm. uh, these are the pre's. Technically I could have done this along with the other two Tabriz levels we had, but I thought that was a bit too much uh, sand and caves for uh, one sort of section, so... I hate sand, etc. Alright. It, it doesn't hugely matter when you play this DLC level because, honestly, I feel that the items aren't hugely useful and the path itself isn't also that great, but, you know, it's just something extra. It's, it's, it's quite a fun level, all things considered. They're quite long, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right, and something I still don't understand. Why does Mr. Apparently so good he doesn't need to kill people turn into a, hey, I'm just going to be a tattoo artist for the rest of my life? He's got dreams of his own. Don't, ju don't judge. wait until the DLC is over. God. Oh, okay. Well, there's the mystery. All, all will be revealed. Did I hear something? Will it really? I have no idea. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't even your gameplay footage, is it? Well, Downloaded you, it. You, you see how well I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, oh, it is, well, it is, unca yeah, good it is point. uncharacteristic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But there is the uh, things that we don't have any tattoos, so we don't have, uh, we can't stop time when we do focus. Uh, we don't have farsight or whatever. We also can't teleport. Oh, I didn't actually ever get that they explicitly said the slowing time was from the tattoo. It's the, the, yeah, the first tattoos that we got. We then got farsight when we went to uh, the uh, Eastern Europe. Thing. Right. had to sneak through the old fortress where the bandits were. I feel like the far sight power was kind of less useful than the other two, you know? Mm -hmm. it was built it's useful when you're first playing the game, you don't really know what does what, you know, but because I already know what the level's about, I didn't really use it all that much. It's also funny though, because my first time through, I forgot it existed, and <laughs> the levels were organized in such a way that you can still do everything fine. Yeah. It's just a nice little bonus. would reactivate a bunch of old gunpowder bombs. This is a bit long, but it does reveal a nice chunk of the map. The yeah. Just so you know what you're getting into. We're now going to activate some traps, which definitely Finally, won't be annoying in 50 years' time. A trigger at the top of the fortress would cause the old fixtures and climbing points to collapse. We can do these in any order. However, there is a certain order I'm going to go for to make lives a lot of it easier. Such as activating a trap that does narrow spike, that does spikes in narrow areas. Doesn't really uh, hinder the guards that much. So that one goes last to take it. Yes. Doors closing automatically, I don't know. Magic doors. Oh no, crap. Whatever we'll be doing. No. Oh, wasn't that amazing? No, that was kind of. <laughs> what about, what about gets... that noise behind me? Is? It gets more fun. That would have gotten me my first time through. Probably. This is this is Prince Persia's fuck right now. It's a little bit tricky, yeah. You just got to be really good at this game. <laughs> oh, okay, I see it. Totally. The floors gave way below me. Knives flew by my ankles. I can't believe I never once feared I would die. I'm scared of stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit of a tricky room, and I thought I, I've done that before and have been perfectly fine. But 
Oh well. well at least we're you're all, not dead. I we're guess. all flaws. Yeah, good that the traps only do free uh, uh, damage. What kind of a madman needs this much security? It's not for me to question a shah. Sure. Otherwise, fairly, fairly simple. And I'll do this first because it's a lot of fun. So, I do need to ask... Oh, dead. Wow, Whoop. that was... <laughs> yeah, how are you supposed to know that's good? Well, I was coming, unless you use Farsight, which you don't have. Yeah. Right. Sort of, we're just assuming the wires are gonna... Yeah, but you don't really know hugely where they're coming from. Mm. Also, you don't need to hide behind stuff. I was gonna say, so what did that do that made it so pots explode? Yes. And that is going to be very helpful, actually. I mean, so, there is a... We kind of, I think we talked over it, but I take it there is another reason for turning these levers off, other than, I guess, adding challenge. You have to. Right. Uh, you have to activate all three, apparently, so... Yeah, it's just to kind of screw over the guys, but ooh, they kind of hinder you. And also, two snipers, they're real dicks to... to uh, we to, we're going to come back to that in just a little bit. <laughs> That fortress had stopped the worst armies the world could throw at it. But I just slipped right through. So the next one is the... Um, I forgot what they were going to do, these switches. The one at the top uh, makes it so the things start breaking a lot. Ah, right. Which doesn't really help us, but uh, the, the exploding oh. pops is, is much more fun. Right, I thought it was it's explained cool. more literally as... Chandeliers fall from the roof, which makes me wonder why you have a lever to undo that. <laughs> the guy was a big fan of Fancy of the Opera. Oh. This one thing that we can just wait for the guy to enter the ring. Mm -hmm. I heard something. Can you just drag him next to a part and then blow it up? Huh? Can you like drag him next to a part and then explode it now? Like, mm. kill it. I, I don't I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> don't mind me. The rudest. Just an explosion, those happen all the time. Yeah, that's just a part of it's clear. It's just occupational hazard, really. It's clear. <laughs> oh, crap, flare. <laughs> they finally it's decided like to care. They use their flares in this level. Dicks. <laughs> it's clear. Apparently, they heard the explosion from like way up there as well. I'm not really sure how that happened, but whatever. Explosions are pretty loud. Wait a minute. They've, got, they've only got a limited range. Wait a minute, it just hit me. The entire point of Ouch. the Mark of the Ninja game was, hey, these people with their new technology are going to run us out of our lives. Why did these guards have the same armor and guns and flares and everything that they have 50 years in the future? The wind covers his <laughs> Think about it. Oh, a wizard did it. <laughs> And also, they couldn't really. They, the, the DLC only has so much new content. I, I guess. And to be fair, a set of like less impressive enemies would be kind of boring. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Fire one bullet, then like takes five seconds to reload. Everyone, fire another everyone, bullet. Just fighting a lot of people with flintlock pistols. I mean, at the current technology that they're at, I don't think fifty years would send them. Wait, fifty years is a long time. I have no idea what a gun technology was like 50 years ago. Armor would probably be somewhat similar. I don't know, I think in the 60s we had like full automatic stuff in the suit, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. If Metal Gear Solid oh. 3 taught me anything... It no, was it, was, it was similar, I believe, so... So rude. <laughs> but look how many points I get! <laughs> it's clear. I guess you're not being a real pain in the ass if you turn this one on first and try and do the 
previous one. But also that explosion made it so that guy moves out of position and saw the other guy, so now he's awake mm. again. That's fine, we'll just beat him up again. But in doubt, punch a guy in the head. Knee him in the balls. Good thing all of these guys are nailed. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I, I can't remember... Like, we mentioned, oh yeah, we need to open all these traps, but... Like, I figured there would be some reason for it. Other than just being a dick and making them spend hundreds on, you know, hundreds less on electricity bills. <laughs> Bit of a tricky cat to get, though. But, uh, no, we're just, um, I believe we're just using it just to hinder the uh, enemy. I mean, it's not really hindering them. Yeah, they have flashlights. They don't climb or, you know, hide They don't hide behind or... bots. Yeah, and I don't think they go through many, cool, many close spaces, so... No, and the traps are only for this like specific area. Once we move on to the next area, some of those the traps don't really work too much. So I don't know. But also, we have to go for the right uh, sniper because but he actually has the left sniper in his view sometimes. So we have to go for the right one first if we want to take them both out. I'm guessing it's to get the undetected bonus. <laughs> Whatever. Gotta get those points. Yep. Oh yeah. Get most of your 200 points at a time. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> no well. Gee, this lever I pulled makes it so the chandeliers fall. I did this huh. break. Eh, I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. We'll come back to it in a second. As we get past this fairly tough room, ish. Hmm. What? Oh, for God's sake! He turned around as he was getting distracted. You know, that's just silly. It's funny because when you said this fairly difficult room, and I was thinking, why not just throw some moss on those lights? Oh, items? What are those? Yeah, I, I knew that was the answer. <laughs> yeah, just go around. But I haven't yet shown off the fungal spores, and there's a reason that I'll only be showing them off just for once. Did I hear something? Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, I kind of... Flares. I kind of missed you picking them up, I think. I think I, I looked away from the video for a minute. Uh, this was a little while ago, it's not a huge deal there. They're not great items, really. Are there many more items in this DLC? Or? No, just those two. Ah. Because we had two extra slots in my, the upgrade screen. Two extra slots for you to waste and forget to use any items with. Okay, let's try this again. This time we can wait until that guy goes underneath that chandelier. I hear something. I hear something. I wonder what it was. <laughs> oh, no idea. Here. I have no object permanence. Someone is here. <laughs> they also just completely ignored his, his uh, dead friend mainly because of the broken chandelier. I assumed it was a fall of the stairs, but... Whatever. There we go, that's, uh, that's pretty much nearly everyone. There's just a couple of guys left. And my guy. But, uh, yeah, as far as the level goes, I think we're about, about two thirds of the way there. Yeah, looks like that. Looks that way. That would fit with the time. Can you just hide behind that part and kill them both without them? Uh, you can do, but I figure this is also a good chance to show off uh, fungal spores. That's after I break them, like, get them close together. And also work with the weird arcing. Huh. There we go. 
So basically, they pretty much kill a guy, but the spores stick around and also lag the game to hell. <laughs> like, uh, it's it's ridiculous how much it lags it. So, so it's the one item that you do not use because it's bleh. Because it's if, it, especially, especially if you throw them whilst they're being under the influence of spores, your game frame just drops to like zero. <laughs> But there we go. Now we just uh, need to get out of here without going into any enclosed spaces, because otherwise we'll pretty much die. That's easy enough to do that. I mean, yeah, now that everyone's sort of unconscious slash dead. And, uh, okay, now I'm going the wrong way. That's towards the other two, and I think. Oh, nope, nope can't go for that one. <laughs> one of these ways. There we go. No, I think if someone was unconscious that long, they're actually dead. It's certainly not good for them. They're just sleeping, right? They're just sleeping. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. <laughs> That's pretty much it for uh, those traps. I mean, the uh, spike uh, inside and closed corridor doesn't appear for the rest of the level. I didn't even see any. That's why I didn't go into any enclosed spaces. Yeah. Because I'm not crazy. <laughs> you mean vents, basically? Yep. The vents are now poison. Yeah, we'll deal with that guy in just a second. I think I'll have a small area to get through. Probably not the best to go through it from this side. Ooh, the scroll. Oh. That doesn't look hey. terrible in the layers. Have we picked any of those up yet at this stage? Yeah, we picked up one. Oh. Didn't notice. It was it was about greed and a monkey. I swear yes. I, I swear I am watching this video. <laughs> then but we only climb so high because our uh, hard monkey skull will break the fall. <laughs> Basically these scrolls are very mean. <laughs> These are kind of, these are the less motivational scrolls, they're just kind of like, like asshole. I mean, ninja better. Dick. The other one's talking about how, oh, Mark is such a good ninja because he's so honorable to take the mark and be a sacrifice for the entire thing. You you're a dick. Climb <laughs> because you're hard, Mark. Oh, no, wait, the first scroll was talking about uh, clutching fruit. Are we, are we accepting Mark as the name of a name of ninja now? I am. I like it. I'm pretty on board with it, yeah. Yeah, might as well do. Alright, here's something I made earlier. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Yep, those plants will be around for many years to come. <laughs> I like climbing. Conservatory, the chief had stationed his best, bravest men. You may, you have to look very I carefully to see if they're different. A gibbering, <laughs> yeah, but they don't actually different than the I others. I had a choice: terrify the chief's men, but leave them alive to tell the story, no doubt with great exaggeration, <laughs> or let the fear spread with blood and precision, leaving just a few terrified survivors. I kind of hope that he just is making this all up as a story about how he's Ninja Jesus and Mark is a <laughs> dumbass. And none of, he got here and it was just completely empty. Oh yeah, there was like 80 people and I threw them all into pits. He's a very mean person. <laughs> I turned on I turned the traps just to make it harder. <laughs> I threw some people into exploding pots. Why they had exploding pots? I don't know, but they had exploding pots. I could drop these it tiles on them. <laughs> now here I was wishing that I was actually in my practice run for this level. Because I basically did this to this guy and pretty much terrified like four guys at once and everyone just came running. 
I'm it was it was absolutely hilarious, and I'm so upset that it didn't happen this time around. Uh, Always in your practice recording. That's how it works. I'm still pretty sure if I got should be dead. Especially so. Yeah, Definitely yeah. should be dead. He's just he's just out of range. He's just sleeping. Yeah. We haven't got ways to uh, terrify the guys. This, so this is kind of a way of the uh, path of nightmares as well, so that uh, if you... Uh, even in that unconscious state, if you throw a guard at another guard, they will get terrified. <laughs> Understandably so, I guess. Uh, I mean, really? <laughs> hey, Jim Bob, you see anything over there? Oh my god! <laughs> Never mind, it's just fucking people all out. For example, we can they, they, yeah, we can either ter terrify five guys or we can knock all sixteen of them out. Or you can do both of them, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you gotta go for a happy when medium. When your fur turns grey, that light brave heart will be you. Mock death while you can. I like that advice. Mm -hmm. mock, mock death while you can. Yeah. I thought I heard something. Let me just walk up there. Yeah, because I thought he would just see his friend and just get terrified, but uh... Squish. Squish? Uh -huh. yeah, I, was, I was trying to keep it out, out of the way of the light, but uh... His friend is literally two centimeters above him. <laughs> Squish. Pull the fucking lever, Jesus. <sighs> yeah, I had to. Finally. <laughs> he wouldn't get terrified. Bitch bag. Also, I think I'm getting a bit lag here, but I'm not really sure why. Is someone fun. throwing moss off screen? Or no, the fungus. <laughs> that's it. It's strange because I have got a pretty powerful computer playing this game, and even then it still lags. How intensive is this game? Seriously. It was made by like how many people? Uh, In Koei or whatever. Not Koei, but was Clyde. Yeah. Also by they also by Team Ninja. We were, no, that's a different. That's a different set. One man Is it? From yeah, the that's uh, that's dead or alive people. Yes. And the uh, Ninja Garden. Oh yeah, Ninja Garden. Yep. Unfortunately, this also counts as an alert. Because he saw us. But he didn't raise the alarm because he was obviously terrified. Well, I'm sure it will be fine. Blop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cool man. Cat. A lot of cats in this level, I will say. Well, it's just a year ago, most of them hadn't been found yet. They naturally occur. <laughs> We find our own way here. Did you need to distract him? Oh, right, points. Duh. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty even split on when, whenever you do something that doesn't seem to have an explanation if it's either points or I fucked up. Or both at the same time. I fucked points. <laughs> but I was actually going to say, you know. Hey, why'd you, uh, why'd you throw them into this pit? Eh, I fucked up getting points. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, that guy's dead. Yeah, he got shot, he got shot by his, by his friend. And then he then saw the, and it was kind of annoying he didn't actually uh, fall off the edge there, because that would have been hilarious. I mean, so the, the body fell on him and then he decided, nope, need to put, need to shoot this now, just gotta be safe. Jim Bob, you're not allowed to fall from the ceiling. That's illegal. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Some kind of ninja? You need to die for that. It always made me sad. You don't take kindly to ninjas around here. In front of his own comrades. Sad when they saw that, that was my attempt to Southern accent. And sadder when they Southern American accent. Scared well, I was being quite surprised that Dosa actually says something when you actually hang a guard from a uh, thing. I just Something wish that I never really tried. I just wish the subtitles picked it up. 
I know. I was quite. I, I was quite surprised. Is it, wait, is, is that is that my game? Is, is he? Uh, does something? Ha oh wait, no. He's actually talking about hanging a guy from the thing. We do look quite funny when we're actually hanging uh, just limply like that, sort of being hung from the neck. But uh, I, I, I could have terrified quite a bit more uh, people because I don't actually get the um, objective of terrifying five people. I only, I only get four. Yeah, close enough. Spoiler. Yeah. Well, I've, I've, it's, it's only three so far, but uh, let's have a bit of fun. Might as well. Yo. And before when I terrified that guy, he has actually uh, fallen off the edge, but he was facing the wrong direction. A good scare is worth more than any battle. If we frighten them, we could control them. And there we go. That's all. That was the last of them. Time to go back. Later. Down the torturous secret <laughs> roads that led home. Uh, dead men tell no tales, thank you. Some of them were unconscious. <laughs> like those guys on the falling block thing. They're definitely unconscious. Yes. Yep. I, I don't think um, they're going to be saying anything, though. <laughs> there we go. Level end. It was done. I had delivered a message to the chief, and, well, we never had trouble with him again. I return to the clan satisfied. Years passed, and I became curious about the ink that I had saved. It all makes sense. I studied now. it and mastered its use. Nobody knows more of its secrets than I do. And nobody here values it more. The fate of the clan rests in those drops. And I will do whatever it takes to ensure our future. Cool. Yeah, okay. yeah but overall, I don't I feel like it doesn't add a huge amount to the actual uh, game, but holy crap a lot, guys. Yeah, but it's an extra level, so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just a cool, nice little thing. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, that's it with the game. Oh, and you even get a nice little title thing. Yeah, I like that too. Cool.